Hello, in this video we are taking a look at some great and really cool looking Meshtastic devices. I already showed you this Meshtastic node that um, company Meshnology sent me a few months ago, but because I love programming and hacking things I decided to write my own firmware for it. So I'm not using these two devices for mesh testing, instead I'm using them to measure temperature. The red one measures the temperature using this sensor and the value is sent over LoRa to black one and the temperature is then displayed on this OLED screen. For example I can use these two to monitor small houses where we dry sausages and other meat. For example, but the uh, problem is that these two devices are not in a mesh. This is peer to peer communication, which means the range is limited. In my case, it is around 400 meters, but that's perfectly fine because I only needed about 200 meters for this project. However, I'm also planning to set up some off-grid communication with my friend. I will use purple device and he will use this army green one. And between us, we will place a few, few more nodes, a couple of these. One of these will be mounted on the school where I work don't tell the, my principal, and others will be installed on some friends' buildings. We are not sure where. So, we are basically creating the first Meshtastic network in my town. As I mentioned, the company Meshnology sells these Mesh Node kits, and on their website you can find many different versions. This is one of the newer generations. This kit is a Meshnology N N37, while this one is N30. The N30 is based on ESP32, and and the N37 use NRF52840, which provides much lower power consumptions compared to. ESP32. This one also has a much larger battery, longer antenna and built-in GNSS or GPS. Antenna is located here in this part. Inside uh, the N37 we can find see the studio via tracker L1 board which is great because it includes a built-in joystick which is here a LoRa radio and it can even be powered by solar panel normally people use a phone to send messages but what I love about these devices it can be even used without Phone. For example, if your phone battery dies, you can still send simple messages using the built-in joystick. Just keep in mind that you will need to upgrade your Meshtastic firmware to use this feature. It is available in version... Let me see... 2.7.15 Now, let's try to assemble one of these kits. It is really simple and I have to say I had lots of fun putting it together. Okay, let's assemble our Meshtastic node. 
I al already assembled one to be quicker. So in package we have a large 3000 milliamp hours battery which is great for those devices. Some screws, nuts, and here is case. I also received this case. Let's use this one. So we have battery, our case, our screws, and here is our Seed Studio Wheel Tracker. L1. Very interesting boards. Here are antennas. Connector for antenna and a GSS antenna. This is our LoRa antenna. And here is So here we have OLED display, on off button, reset button, push button, joystick, groove connector for sensors, connector for solar panel, 5 volt solar panel, battery connector, connector for GNSS for location antenna and connector for LoRa antenna. So first I will start with antennas. This is GNSS antenna and I need to say it is quite good because over the years I tried many different boards and modules for GPS or GNSS and I have always problems with getting location but this antenna find the fix very quickly. I'm using just basic tools as such as screwdriver and pocket knife. I'll put this aside and this for now. This is part of case where GNSS antenna is located and we will need one long screw and one one of these which will fit here now lower antenna we will need to remove this piece of plastic I will not I will not use this one because that's why my antenna will fit better And I can also connect this antenna. Now we need to connect this board. I will take another part of case. 
I will install this joystick part here and this push button part here and this will go here this is used for reset button and as you can see my board all right will fit perfectly I'll check is everything working yes and now I have four these tiny screws And the only thing I need to do is to connect battery and antennas, which can be a little tricky, but let's try. I will connect battery last. Laura antenna goes here on this microcontroller module. Sorry, this is not a microcontroller module. And GNSS antenna goes here. And now I can connect battery. And here it is. Now we just need to secure this case with these long screws but first we need to insert these square nuts here and that's it there is few spare parts I will turn my device on using this switch. I can hear some sound and my 2.6.10 mesh tastic is booting. And that's it for today. Thank you. This was a long video. Please Feel free to leave a comment if you saw whole video. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, this is my. These are my first step in uh, meshnology. Do you use meshnology? Please leave a comment. Please tell me what you think about those devices. I think they are great. Well, very sturdy and well built, and I'm very happy to play with them. Thank you, have a nice day and goodbye.